We are in Adarsh Palm Retreat Villas. This is a community uh, of both apartments and villas uh, in Belandur. Uh, they are doing many things to manage their water better. This is Mr. Krishnaraj from the Water Management Committee of the Resident Welfare Association. There's Aditi from Biome who's engaged with this community to help uh, them solve their water problems. Uh, there is also Muni Krishna who's helped us dig the first withdrawal well that you see here. And uh, Aditi, can you quickly summarize uh, what the idea is behind withdrawal wells and uh, the idea for Adash Palm Retreat is? Right. So, uh, withdrawal well essentially takes water from the shallow aquifer and from the basement seepage problem that the residents have uh, encountered for some time now. Uh, the shallow aquifer, the evidence of shallow aquifer has been there, the water table being higher uh, is there. So the strategy was to utilize this sh uh, shallow aquifer water through withdrawal well and integrate it into their water, into the water supply system essentially. So and uh, simultaneously also do recharge. So it's like withdrawal and recharge happening simultaneously so that the water level basically is uh, maintained in the shallow aquifer and it doesn't really dry up. So, uh, and and what, what has also been done is to estimate that almost the entire rain falling here can be held in the shallow aquifer yes. and that will meet a very significant portion of the demand of this place. Correct, correct. This yeah. could also help solve the flooding problems that is there at one end of this community, right? right? Yeah. 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 Uh, so Krishnaj, what has been the challenges in taking this whole thing forward with the community? So one of the main challenges was to um, look, you know, find an ideal location for the withdrawals and it has to be in a common area and um, the, the constraints of this uh, community is that there are all the common area properties are either secluded or or you know filled with roads and in, in, the, in front of the villas so finally we were able to find this uh, such spots where it is away from <coughs> the, the roads um, or not interfering with any water supply lines or electrical supply lines and this is the first uh, withdrawal that we have we have done now and the hope is to uh, tap into this as a water source and uh, uh, leading up to us being completely self-sufficient in our water requirements. What is your current source of water? Our current source of water is uh, almost 60 to 70 percent is through external tanker suppliers and the remaining 30 percent is a mix of uh, um, you know, cavalry water and uh, very little from our bore well, uh, internal bore wells. So uh, there were other possibilities to put the withdrawal well in the end where I see the compound now. Uh, there is a lawn patch there. So why haven't you been able to actually put the wells there? So the um, the cul-de-sac area and the land behind the cul-de-sac area is actually uh, private property. Half the cul-de-sac belongs to the, the left side villa owner and in the right hand side belongs to the right hand side villa owner. And uh, uh, getting permissions from the villa owners is going to be, uh, you know, may not be consistent. However, if the villa owners themselves uh, are, are willing to allow us to build a, a, a you know a withdrawal well there that that would be awesome yeah so if they can contribute that little place for the community then it's going to make Absolutely. life simpler because that's a much better location for the withdrawal well right yes, that would be yeah. much better yes muni krishna sir iga neevu heli ee baavi thodlikke neevu eshta eshta adi agla ide baavi eshta adi aala ide idu 6 adi agla ite sir so six feet wide. So twenty-five feet deep. Nimo Thod Bekare Yao Adike Nimke near Sikto. On the I the dig near six. So at five feet you got water. I the dig near sikto. Walla nira. Walla nero alinda start aito. A Kelgada Voktawata just at least shampoo al sikto. Kelgada Voktawta on the either Radi Yentadi Wombatadi at Tadi. So as you uh, you hit water at five feet, and as you kept digging deeper, you got more and more uh, water. Total depth is there? Twenty-five feet deep. Full twenty-five feet already agla idea? full already So thoda to kasta hai to. Yes, dinna to kono thoda ke baal. Idu more disa. Idu nida tumba near bharte an satta nimga. Near bharta sir. Full near bharte. So, 
So even to put the grills that you see in the wells, it had to be dewatered significantly. And this dewatering is what every household basement is doing to avoid basement seepage. So these kind of withdrawal wells, Krishnaraj, so will solve your seepage problem, so solve your water problem and potentially solve your flooding problem. Absolutely. So, so, so there's a very strong case for uh, you know private property owners to give a part of their uh, private area to big community wells because they are going to immensely benefit from it in the long run, isn't it? Yes, and it benefits the community as, as we get into water uh, self-sufficiency and it solves multiple problems. Thanks Krishna.